Good afternoon, guys. I'm Francesco, aka hey, Chesco. And um, this is going to be my first review, fragrance review, of um, Perry Alice 360 Red, known as one of probably the best clone of Aqua D. Joe, right? So, I bought this one, I think, um, when it was probably two or three months ago, because I saw so many, so many reviews on YouTube, and I was kind of curious, because most of the people that were saying it smelled exactly like Aqua Digio, um, but uh, it's just as, it is a spicier version of it, and... Mm, and probably most of the people also they said that it has a better a better longevity than the actual actual uh, uh, aquadigio right um so i bought obviously i had this one before so this was my first buy obviously and um and i remember when i used to be a kid that probably most of the people in my country because I'm Italian, I'm from Italy. Um, I moved to Canada five years ago. Um, I live in Newmarket, Ontario, by the way. So this used to be so common in my country, and when I used to be like probably eight, nine years old, um, everyone, everyone they used to wear this, and people still wear it. People still wear it because it's such a solid scent, right? And uh, because it's class, it's not class. It's, it's it's a nice fragrance. It's a summer fragrance, fresh, aquatic. But everyone knows how this smell. But the thing is with this one that I noticed that it's so close, and the thing that I like that it's it's just a spicier version. And the thing that I like is because of the spice, like of the spices, like um. Uh, the cinnamon and the cloves brings to the scent a really a really nice um, composition and so because just want to just compare both of them right just give me a spray of aqua digio nice I like the spray it's not a bad spray by the way the thing with, with Aqua Di Gio, I like the blast. I like the initial blast. Like such a nice and citrusy blast with aquatic note. And it works pretty well during the summer time, obviously, when it's really hot outside. But the thing is, the thing is that it lasts, probably lasts um, um, five, six hours only. It's not bad. It's not bad. Don't make me wrong. But if you want a more long longevity, you just have to buy a little decant and just pump inside the um, pump inside the uh, the decant. That's it. But I really do like it. It's not bad. I like it. But if you're going with the Perry Alice three sixty red, as I said. Okay, it's a little it's it's the spicer version of it. The thing that I like about this one the open it's 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 almost closed, don't make me wrong. But it's because of the spice, the spiciness of the scent. And I really do like I like so this one opens up brighter. Right, brighter and aquatic. This one opens up. This this one, basically, on when you first spray, it has the nice spicy quality into it. And believe it or not, on my skin, this one lasts between six and eight hours, and that's not bad. And that's what I want. And also because, oh man, such a nice smell. If I have to compare both of them, this one, that's 
I can tell. Spicier, brighter. Well, I like both, don't make me wrong, but if I want something slightly different between the two, I will go with Perry Ellis right away. The price of this set is really, so you can get pretty cheap. Like you can get um, like uh, for 20 bucks at Shopper's Drug Mart without any problem. This is a, a 50 ml bottle. And um, I think the 100 ml bottle goes um, online for probably you can get even like um, 20, 25 or 30 bucks. But it is a pretty good set. Um, I don't know. It depends. It depends on you. I don't mind. So the thing is that this one, everyone, everyone know, knows the scent, right? Everyone knows the scent. And also, you're going to hear most of the people, oh, wow, you smell like my ex. So kind of don't like that. Instead, I like when someone... Um, when I um, I wore this one probably already probably twice, and um, someone said to me, um, "Oh wow, this smells so much so much close to um, Aqua di Gio. I I wear Aqua di Gio today." I said, "Tom, no, that is something close." And I said the name of it. And thought, "Oh wow, it's it has a nice a nice smell." And I said, "Yep, it's very endless, very sexy red. I don't mind that." And um, yeah, price-wise, this one is one of the best options. If you want to go, go for it. It's nice. And it, it lasts. It lasts. That's the best thing. It lasts. I don't mind it. If you want something brighter and classy, like, as usual. I like Aqua Don't make me wrong, but they're, they're different. There is difference between the two, right? But I don't mind it at all. I don't mind it at all. So, um, I really do enjoy the Perry Alice 360 Red. And I can wait the summer to um, to experiment this scent outside. And also, I, I would like to, uh, to layer this scent with something else. Just to see how it goes. Like, um, I would like to layer with, um, I don't know, with something even close to it like I want to stay into the aquatic because it's summertime but I would like to try to layer up layer layer up this one with something else like um, I don't know um, I have to I have to find the, the proper combination first of all but I really I really do have already my my some of my best fragrance and also during summertime I like wearing um, Creed Virgin Island Water. That one is one of my favorite ones. It smells like summer, no matter what. No matter what people said. To me, that one is summer in a bottle. Summer in a bottle. But, if you want to go for it, for something slightly different than this, go for Perry Alice 360 Red. Try it. Why not? Try it. Why not? Anyway. See you next time. See you guys.